Hey guys, so I'm back to um, wash my brushes. I have so many brushes I have to watch. Watch. <laughs> I wash. Um, I know I'm not alone. I use every single brush that I have until I don't have any more and I am forced to wash them. So I'm here to go over um, one of my favorite products to wash my brushes and um, kind of share with you guys my review. So um, I'm just going to go over the basics. Like I know Sephora has like this brand, um, or brand. Sephora has a brush cleaner. This is their brush purifying brush shampoo and this retails for about six dollars and you know i uh, you know it, this works but it doesn't work as well i have to wash it numerous times for really to get some saturated color out of my brushes which is kind of like time consuming so i rarely rarely use this and i've used half of it on one wash of my brushes but again i have a lot of brushes that i wash when i do wash them so and it's very, very, very important that you wash your brushes. It's, um, you know, for sanitary reasons and just the bacteria buildup, you don't want to put that back on your face. That's the reason why I have so many brushes and I tend to don't want, I wash them once a month. Um, it's recommended that you don't keep it dirty for very long, but uh, I don't have the time. So I do wash them when I'm out of brushes to use. Uh, but yeah, so I have you tried the, you know, the baby shampoo method, the olive oil and the dishwashing soap, and I feel like they're all very time consuming and that's what we want to eliminate. And I think that's like one of the tedious parts of makeup is washing your brushes. So, um, the next product that I want to go over is Perian Spirit. Now Perian Spirit, I use normally for spot cleaning, um, just because I'm going to show you guys um, towards the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys like a demonstration on what I mean. Um, Perry and Spirit does an amazing job. Like the moment you dip your brush into this solution, you'll see all of your makeup really just break apart from your bristles. But, um, and it works really well with your eyeshadow brushes, but as far as um, gel eyeliner brushes or even foundation or any face brush that you have, it tends to waste a lot of product and that's the reason why I normally use it for spot cleaning and not deep cleaning but this is used also for deep cleaning and I know that um, Japanesque also uses um, the same formula for their brush cleaning so um, the Sephora brand normally costs about six dollars and the Perian Spirit the one I have is the 32 fluid ounce and this costs normally about $30 or um, on Amazon or any makeup store that carries Perian Spirit. They also have the 8 ounce which goes for about $12 and they're very good. Um, I also picked up the jar that you can clean your um, brushes in and basically this is just a glass jar with a tin lid and inside is a plastic um, mesh that you can swivel your brush around to really break apart all that product in your brush and I'll go over in a second what I mean by it can waste your solution if you wash brushes that have dense colors packed into it. I do have the um, spritzer bottle which is what I mainly use for spot cleaning um, for my eyeshadow brushes because I'm lazy, now, I admit it. The main reason I'm making this video is because of my holy grail, holy, holy grail um, brush cleaner. And this is the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. And you know, this brush cleaner is actually my, uh, me meant for, I'm sorry, it's really late and I'm tired. It's actually meant for artist brushes, so sort of like paint brushes oil paints, acrylic paints, any paints there are, this is what it's meant for. It's a solid brush shampoo, so it looks like this. It looks like a solid um, soap in a jar, basically. And the Masters Brush Cleaner comes in so many sizes. I also have this teeny tiny one, and this was $2.95. And, and this is this teeny tiny. 
and um, I use this mainly for my gel eyeliner brushes just because I don't want to um, dirty up my big tub when I have this little one for my smaller brushes and the thing with these um, as you use them they do shrink in um, instead of shrinking downwards they do shrink they also shrink downwards but they shrink sideways so they do fall out it's not as fitting um, but that's how they're meant to be from all the other videos I've seen they do shrink and inward. it's so affordable you can find it at any art store um, I know you can find it at Michael's I found it at my local art store I um, it's called Blix and they have several sizes so this one is one ounce this is a one ounce jar and this only costs four dollars and 49 cents which is really 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 inexpensive and i've used it twice to wash all my brushes in and look i it came about this it only came about maybe like two centimeters higher than it is now and i feel like it will last me a very long time it's cheap and i feel like I feel like this has really cut down my brush washing time to more than a half, which normally I would spend about an hour or two hours um, washing my brushes, which is kind of tedious, but this makes it so much easier. And I'll show you exactly how I use it. Um, they also have, um, I also have the 2.5 ounce. So this is a comparison and um, this costs I want to say like six or seven dollars so it's still really inexpensive they also have this ginormous tub um it almost looks like the you know the cheap ice cream that you find in your freezer section at your market that has like the strawberry vanilla and chocolate um it's that huge um with the first two times that i went to buy these products um they did have it in stock so i'll link a picture of how it looks right now but when I went back, they were sold out. So I hope they get it back in stock soon. And um, I will be picking it up. But I know that will last me like forever. <laughs> um, I know these will probably, probably last me uh, quite a long time. So as of right now, I'm using this for my eye brushes and this for my smaller face brushes. And what I mean, um, why I say smaller face brushes is because for... Um, my foundation brushes or my cream blush brushes those have so much more product packed inside and if you have ever used a master's brush cleaner you'll know that it doesn't set up it or it doesn't um yeah it doesn't set up quite as well as a normal brush cleaner would it's not really as soapy it's more like waxy and it actually takes off all your product um meaning it's kind of harder to clean your bigger brushes in and that's when my London Brush Company brush shampoo comes in play and this is also the same idea as a solid shampoo in a jar but this is a bit more expensive so this is the one ounce jar and this cost me $22 so $22 um, they also have a two ounce jar which costs um, $32 which is pretty expensive but um, since I only use this for face brushes just because this actually soaps up and gets really bubbly and it get I, I can actually work the product into my more denser brushes it works really well um, it comes in three different scents um, while the other ones have just a basic scent the Perian Spirit is kind of not kind of it's really citrusy it smells like orange peels all over your room when you use it which is lovely if you like it um, while the master's brush cleaner actually virtually doesn't really have a scent it's very um, it's very mild let's see it you can barely smell it and it's been on your brushes once you wash it and it dries it you can't smell it um, the London brush company soap though has some scents they have the natural which doesn't smell like anything they have lemon, which obviously smells like lemons, <laughs> and um, they have lavender. I am not a big fan of lavender, but um, when I purchased this tub, I didn't know they had different scents. So I just picked, I just picked one up from the stand. So I ended up with the lavender. It's not as 
It's not as offensive though, so it's not like after you wash your brushes and it dries and you, while you're while I'm applying my makeup, I don't smell it, so that's good. Um, but I do use this quite sparingly because it is quite expensive for twenty two dollars. The London Brush Company soap is made out of goat milk, so I'm um, a newborn vegan. I been vegan for like uh, or almost vegan for about seven or eight months now and um, that might not be something that you might want to consider if you are trying to find something that's cruelty free but it does work really well um, I'm sorry I'm using it if you are vegan one of the best ways is to um, before you wash your brushes is to press the brush while under running water to make sure that all of your hairs are fully wet. It's almost, or it's exactly the same as washing your hair. So, you know, when you shampoo your hair, one of the most important things is to make sure that your whole head or all of your hair is wet before you apply your shampoo. And that goes for your makeup brushes. Um, also, the, um, the way you swirl the brush in your hand, it's very important that you're not too rough with swirling in your hand. It will, I guarantee you, it will, it will, it will damage the formation of your brush. Like I've had brushes that I was like, and you know, by the time I rinsed it out and try to shape it, the brushes were like, you know, so you don't want that. Make sure you're pretty gentle with them. Treat them like your hair. So yeah, let me go. Let's go ahead and wash our brushes. I'll go ahead and show you how exactly how I do it. Um, with the water noise in the background, I'll probably be doing a voice. Okay, could I talk anymore? So, um, uh, so let's get started and wash I'll our brushes. I'm going to be starting with the Perian Spirit 32 ounce bottle. It's what I showed you earlier. And I normally, um, or I'll also be showing you a demonstration with the spritzer bottle. Now, I just refill my spritzer bottle with the 32 ounce if I run out. Um, but I'm going to also show you, if I do decide not to use a spritzer bottle, how I um, use the canister now. This canister you can buy for about 6 or $7. Um, the mesh, as you can see, I'm pulling out. Um, there is a mesh in there. And on the way bottom, there is a little plastic ring. So that plastic ring basically keeps your mesh from um, being flat on the bottom. It keeps it elevated and it gives you um, room to put half solution on the bottom of the mesh and a little bit on top. I would recommend filling it up just so it's maybe about a centimeter above the mesh um, as you can see. And basically the mesh just gives you purpose, um, not purpose, to, uh, it gives you a way to kind of uh, rub your brushes against to loosen up any pigment that might be on the inner portion of your brush and you'll see how easily my white bristle that looks red uh, becomes white again so be gentle don't be too rough um, just go back and forth I would do like swirls or back and forth uh, but without too much pressure now I'm just you can see already it's already getting clean and before I pull it out, I always like to um, squeeze the excess of the uh, of solution off onto the edge of the brush, as I'm doing now. And as you can see, it's very clean. I'm sorry my video is sideways, by the way. I don't know. I, I just couldn't get it back to um, the way it was supposed to be, but rubbing it off. Also, I forgot to mention Perry and Spirit, one of the best things, I don't know why I forgot to mention it, um, it dries in like a few seconds. It dries in five to 10 seconds. Right now, um, I, I would say in about five seconds that brush would be ready to use, um, although it does have a quite strong orangey scent. Um, so if you are sensitive to that, I would stay away. I'm just doing this pretty quickly gel eyeliner brush you see the I'm using the same solution I haven't dumped it out so it's less than meet your two brushes so far and as you can see it's clean um, now I'm doing my foundation brush now as soon as I dip my foundation brush in there you will see that the water gets immediately you notice that it's very muddy um, the brush looks clean but it's actually not 
I'm going to have to dump out that solution. So, so far I've used that solution for three brushes and that's what I mean by, I feel like it kind of wastes product and I normally use it for spot cleaning just for everyday use. Um, but there we go, I'm refilling it back. And I'm gonna get my brush in there and as you can see the water isn't, is still kind, it's not as dirty as before, but it's still pretty murky. And you would think it's clean, but it's not. I still have some pigments on the root of the brush uh, right there. I know it's hard to see because of my lighting. So I'm going to go in there and brush it one more time, or wash it one more time. So finally, there we go. Another reason why I feel like it wastes product is if you have a fluffy brush like this, this is either a blush or a foundation or a powder brush. I obviously use it for brush, blush. And as you can see, as soon as I dip it in, the solution is gone. Um, it is absorbed by all of the, um, especially since I have such a poofy brush, it's absorbing all of the product. And because the jar is kind of tiny, it's hard for me to really get in there and softly um, softly, uh, what is it, rinse my brush. And you can see that it picked up so much of that solution and it's actually dripping onto my hand right now. My hand is like oily from it. So I'm wiping it off. And it's, I wasn't able to really get a good clean out of it. You can see some pigment, um, there's some tint left to the white ends. And um, I just don't recommend it for face brushes. So spot cleaning, I should have done a face brush spot cleaning, but I didn't. I think I only did one eyeshadow brush. Um, I This video is so long, I didn't want it to be any longer. So um, getting a tissue or a paper towel or towel, whichever, I spray about two times on each side just to get it saturated. And I'll just go ahead and first I'd like to rub it in where I sprayed the towel and then um, as I feel like it's drying off, I'll rub it onto the um, dryer end or I'll squeeze off excess. And you can see how easily you can clean your brushes, especially if you're um, for everyday use, you know, you can just put on your eyeshadow and in 15 seconds, you can clean your brushes just for, for um, everyday use. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend it um, to, you should still be deep cleaning your brushes at least once a week. Now, on to my favorite part. This is the Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver. And I'm not gonna get too much into it. I know I talked your ears out about it. Um, you can find it at any art store and they're very, very affordable. I'm gonna start off with the um, tiniest one. I forget what ounce it was. I think it was like 0.5 ounce. I'm gonna wash my lip brush with it. Um, I normally do lip brush, eyeliner brush, or eyebrow brush cleaning with that one just because the um, brushes are small and the uh, the canister is small. So. And also you want to remember to not get your ferrule wet right where my finger is right there. You um, When I use brushes under running water, I like to keep the hand that I'm holding my brush with right above that ferrule. So I know where, um, if, my, if my right hand gets wet, I know that my um, my water is getting too close to that ferrule port portion of the brush, so I like to always hold it there when I'm handling the brush. Now, um, after you run it across the um, soap, I like to just rub it in onto my palm. You can wet your palm if it's too dry. You wanna, uh, or if it feels like it gets dirty, and do the same thing under running water to clean off the soapy material. So there it is me wiping it off. It's absolutely clean. Now I'm going to show you the one ounce and I'm going to be washing another eyeshadow brush with red eyeshadow in it. Now um, another thing is you see how I'm tapping the brush against my hand and squeezing the bristles. Um, like I said in my earlier video, uh, you want to make sure all your bristles are very saturated and wet before you wash them. Um, and just going to take it into the canister, I'm going to twirl it around. 
and pick up product. This actually builds up like a waxy, um, a waxy material. I'm gonna wet my hand just a little bit to give it something to work to. The I said that the brush cleaner doesn't, um, or the master's brush cleaner doesn't set up well. As you notice that this one does have some bubbles. I guess it depends on what um, quality bristles you have. I don't know. This is the, I believe that was the uh, Mac Two One Seven. So maybe natural bristles have um, a foaming effect, but majority of my brushes don't. They don't get so bubbly like this one did. So I squeeze off the excess water with my hand and you see how absolutely clean it is. And I also like to squeeze it once with the paper towel. Now this isn't going to dry instantly like the Perry and Spirit. Um, now I'm just going to go give you a fast video on how I clean my uh, concealer brush gets. Rubbing it in there. Same concept. Rub it in there, and if it gets dirty, if you feel like your palm is getting dirty with um, the pigment, then just wash it out, and then just make sure it's wet before you rub it in again. And yay, clean, all clean. It's the other side. The other side is a foundation brush, so I'm wetting it, twirling it in the soap. Rolling it in my hand. See, I'm washing my hand off because I see all that foundation coming out. Um, do the same under running water. Squeeze out excess. Wipe it on a paper towel or towel. Spanking it. Okay, now this one is the 2.5 ounce. I think this was like six or seven dollars. It's the difference between the size of the um, jar. So as you can see, I would probably use my bigger one for um, face brushes. It's just easier access. I wish I had the huge one because then I would use my face brushes in that and I'll probably get a better clean out of them. So this is a foundation brush, which I again use for blush. There's no rule on what brush is used for what product so go ahead and oh and also if you feel like it's not it's you know you're not picking up a lot of the soap you want to wet it make sure your brush is really wet before you start rubbing it in it's kind of like washing your hands you know you don't want your hands to be wet before you grab that bar of soap so Massaging it in. This brush is a bit denser, so I am um, kind of using my hands to massage it in, um, make sure the product is completely removed from the inner part of the brush. I know it looks a little bit yellow, but that is the color of the brush. It is completely clean. Now the next one is the London Brush Company Brush Shampoo. I have it in lavender. As you can, if you can see, it says um, it's made out of pure goat milk, um, which I don't... Um, I know I you know I love the product, but I don't think I'll repurchase again just because of the pro uh, fact that there is goat milk in it. Um, so I have a gel eyeliner brush it has blue eyeliner in it. I'm just trying to wash um, a variety of brushes for each of my uh, of the three products that I showed you, just so you can get an idea of how they work. And I have to say, the London Brush Company works amazingly. Mm, there we go. Look how easy that was perfectly clean here. I'm doing a slow motion so you can see how white the bristles look. Okay, another, it's an eyeshadow brush. Dirty. I'm pressing in the water to make sure it's saturated and wet. Go ahead and rub it in. I feel like this needs less rubs than the uh, Masters though. So wet my hand, work it in.
Lastly, that's the foundation brush. Going in and as you can see, it suds up a lot better um, than the masters. Always remember, if your hand feels dirty, rinse it out and then um, just re-wet your hand. And easy. Also, the Master's Brush Cleaner is also a preserver, which um, goes for the same for all of the other three that I've showed you. Like, Perian Spirit is also supposed to be a preserver. The um, um, London Brush Company, I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that, uh, and the Master's, they're all brush preservers. So, they're meant to make your brush last longer. I don't think that I have been using them long enough to say that they last longer. I think the longest that I've, of the three, I've used Perry and Spirit the longest and they do well. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can use all three of them are really, really wonderful products. I would repurchase them without a doubt. Even the Perry and Spirit I'll repurchase. Um, it's just, I use them for different purposes. Um, yeah, give this a try. Um, I'll link some links below um, of places where you can purchase them. And you know, Michael's has coupons on their Sunday newspaper and stuff. So you can probably get it even cheaper. So yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys. I will, um, I'm hoping my next video will be my Inglot collection. I have a huge collection. So Watch out for that. I hope this video was helpful and for I'll you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.